Tri-Cities News Team taking action for you. Keeper Action News. Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with two arrests from last night's shooting in North Richland. Yeah, the police say the teens shot into a trailer where a man was living. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but neighbors are still shocked, and they say it's not the sort of thing that you see in this area. Yeah, so Kathleen Jacobs spoke with the neighbors and the police to see just what does go down in North Richland, and it is our big story. People that live on this quiet street never thought it would be rattled with gunshots. I heard a pop. I didn't think nothing of it. And when I heard the second one, I'm like, wait a minute, that sounds like gunfire. Richard lives across the street from his friend Rigo, whose home now has bullet holes through it. I saw the two kids go running heading south, and I watched where they went. One of the teens was taken into custody in his home last night, and the other was arrested at school this morning. Police say the two suspected shooters and Rigo did know each other. Neighbors say the relationship's been rocky. This is something that's been brewing for a couple years, but I had no idea it would go this far. And no one in the neighborhood did. We got a lot of other little issues to deal with, but, you know, something at this level, yeah, that surprises me. In the past six months, Richland north of Van Giesen has seen very little crime. Take a look at this map. Only a third of Richland's residential burglaries were in North Richland. It's even less for car thefts. For car break-ins, about a quarter happened north of Van Giesen. And out of eight robberies, only one of those was in North Richland. Needless to say, it's not a very crime-ridden area. Stolen bicycles and a little vandalism and things like that, but, you know, that's kids. But something at this level is a little more serious. It's a shaken area. That's thankful for fast and efficient police work. They were on the ball. I have much respect for them. In Richland, Kathleen Jacob, Action News. Now, police arrested those teens for assault in the first degree. And an autopsy.